Hello everyone and welcome back to My Nerdy Home. My name is Stephanie. Thank you so much for watching this video. So while a lot of fans are still reeling at the gender swap of Taskmaster, it looks like we've been shown who was behind the mask of Taskmaster the whole time. The stunt double gave us a photo of himself on set and his name is Andy Lister. Now he is a very well-known stunt double. He was stunt doubled for Captain America's Chris Evans. He stunt doubled for Woody Harrelson in Solo, A Star Wars Story. And now this very well-known stunt Double has done the work of Taskmaster for Olga Kurylenko. <laughs> that doesn't make very much sense, does it? Oh, well, that's because the role was originally for a man, hence why she looked so out of place, so ridiculous when her head was digitally put on to Andy Lister's body. Uh, yeah, the idea of gender swapping Taskmaster was made after shooting Black Widow, which is why her head looks the same size as her feet in the movie. This was such a ridiculous decision. And it looks like there was an actor out there who was supposed to play the role of Taskmaster before they made the decision to gender swap the character. We were so sure that British actor O.T. Feng Benley was going to play the role of Taskmaster, uh, but we were so wrong. However, there are some clues out there that tell us that this actor O.T. Feng Benley was supposed to play the role of Taskmaster instead of the role of Agent as listed in the Black Widow credits. This actor played such a minor role in the movie, but he was given his own poster during the film's promotion. There is a Twitter user that said that there were a lot of signs that hinted that this man was supposed to be in the role of Taskmaster. OT bulked up for his role. Stuntman Andy Lister was chosen to match his body type and not the body type of Olga Karolinko, which is why the reveal looks so ridiculous. It's the body of the stunt actor Andy Lister. Five foot nine Olga's head was digitally attached to a five foot 11 male body. That looks ridiculous. It looked awful. This woman is shorter. She's a lot more slender and it just looks absolutely ridiculous. There was no reason other than identity politics to gender swap this character. Tie-in mobile game modeled OT space under Taskmaster's 3D model. Yeah, there's a mobile game that had a man as Taskmaster instead of a woman. Why is that? Why is that? Maybe it's because Taskmaster was originally supposed to be a man and not a woman. And not only that, but with all of this talk about representation, they take the Nigerian actor out of his role as Taskmaster and replace this Nigerian actor with a woman, Olga Kurylenko. It is just ridiculous. Disney, Marvel, the double standards everywhere, hypocrisy at its finest. But what do you guys think of this whole situation? Do you think that OT was supposed to be in the role? Based on the evidence, I really think that he was supposed to be the role in the role of Taskmaster. Were you surprised or shocked at this reveal? Let me know in those comments down below. And thank you so much for watching this video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please come and say hi to me on Instagram and Twitter and all of my other social medias. I also want to give a huge shout out to my patrons, my Harlequins, Dark Knights, Red Hood Outlaws, and my Jokers, as well as my Rogue Gallery channel members. I appreciate your patronage and your membership so much. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing and let me know in those comments down below what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone!